Please excuse a short advertisement before I proceed. I am offering an audio course in conservation biology. Details are at the link in the description immediately beneath this video. I continue to receive abundant positive feedback about the course more than six months after it was launched. This video is based on an essay I wrote at GuyMcPherson.com. The essay was posted on September 19, 2012, shortly after I had concluded by a short essay that abrupt irreversible climate change would lead to the extinction of Homo sapiens. It includes many links that I cannot include via video presentation. The language in this video has been cleaned up a bit to meet YouTube's low standards with respect to curse words. When called a quitter in somebody's first time comment in this space, my initial response was to serve the name caller a big warm cup of shut the fork up. Then I gave it a bit more thought. One result is this essay, and therefore this video. Contrary to the respondent's interpretation of my essay, I'm not suggesting we quit. Giving up is not giving in. Accepting our fate is not synonymous with jumping into the absurdly omnicidal mainstream. Just because we're opossums on the roadway doesn't mean we should play possum. Resistance is fertile, after all. To employ a bit of the boss, in the end, what you don't surrender, well, the world just trips away. Or, to employ a bit of zen, let go or be dragged. Or, to employ a bit of popular culture, carpe diem. Or, to employ a bit of Nietzsche, live as though the day were here. Climate chaos is well underway, and it has become irreversible over temporal spans relevant to humans because of positive feedbacks, such as the nature of reaching the acceleration phase of the nonlinear system that is climate catastrophe. As a result of ongoing accelerating climate change, I'm letting go of the notion that Homo sapiens will inhabit this planet beyond 2030. A minor comment is in order here. I've subsequently pulled forward the near nifts of near-term human extinction, specifically to 2026, based on evidence that has accumulated since I wrote the essay forming the basis for this video more than a decade ago. I'm letting a go of the notion that Homo sapiens will inhabit this verdant little valley at the edge of American empire after it turns to dust within a few years before 2030. I'm letting go of the notion that within that same temporal span, there will remain any habitat for humans in the interior of any large continent in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm letting go of the notion that we'll retain even a, a fraction of 1% of the species currently on Earth beyond 2050. But I'm not letting go of the notion of resistance, which is a moral imperative. I will no longer judge people for buying into cultural conditioning. It's far easier to live in a city at the height of a civilization's excesses than not. I know how easy it is to live in a city surrounded by beautiful distractions and pleasant interactions, and I fully understand the costs and consequences of dwelling there, as well as the price to be paid in the near future. After all, civilization is a heat engine. I spend about half my life in various cities, and I understand the physical ease and existential pain of living at the apex of empire. Also, I know all about the small joys and great pains associated with living in the country. I spent the other half of my life in the country and in towns with fewer than 1,000 people. I understand why the country bumpkin is assigned stereotypical labels related to ignorance and, paradoxically, self-reliance. It's clearly too late to tear down this irrede irredeemably corrupt system and realize any substantive benefits for humans or other organisms. And yet I strongly agree with the notion of activism. If it seems I'm filled with contradictions, then color me fully human in a Walt Whitman sort of way. Quote, Do I contradict myself? Very well, then. I contradict myself. I am large. I contain multitudes. End quote. Our remaining time on this orb is too short to cast aspersions at those who live differently from ourselves, as most people in industrialized countries have done throughout their lives. Most people in the industrialized world became cultural crack babies in the womb, there is little chance of breaking the addiction of ingestion at this late point in the era of industry, and I'm throwing in the towel on changing the minds of typically mindless Americans. No longer will I try to convince people to give up the crack pipe based on my perception of reality. I'll continue to speak, I'll continue to write, but these efforts will be presented with less urgency than I've previously employed, and they will represent personal perspectives and actions. I'll no longer recommend to others the path I've taken. An update on that latter sentence? Duh. 
Nietzsche's comment about seizing the day, every day, brings to mind the final words of Joseph Campbell's 1949 book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Quote, It is not society that is to guide and save the creative hero, but precisely the reverse. And so every one of us shares the supreme ordeal, carries the cross of the Redeemer, not in the bright moments of his tribe's great victories, but in the silences of his personal despair. End quote. With the preceding dire news in mind, it would be easier to forget how fortunate we are. After all, we get to die, each one of us. That simple fact alone is cause for celebration, because it indicates we get to live. As I wrote more than five years ago, now more than 15 years ago, our knowledge of DNA assures us that the odds against any one of us existing are greater than the odds against being a particular grain of sand on all the world's beaches. Actually, the odds are much greater than that. They exceed the odds of being a single atom plucked from the entire universe. To quote the evolutionary biologist and science educator Richard Dawkins, quote, In the teeth of these stupefying odds, it is you and I that are privileged to be here, privileged with eyes to see where we are, and brains to wonder why. End quote. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Click the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified about future videos. Become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents per month. Mostly, though, thanks for watching.